I've gone ahead and mixed up my drywall texture. I'm ready to apply it. My patch is sanded. I took a vacuum and I kind of got all the dust off of the uh, patch itself so that I know the new stuff will stick. And so when you mix this up, this is not 20 minute mud. This is drywall texture. And you're gonna mix it up a little on the soupy side, about the consistency of like pancake batter. The idea is, this now, now also keep in mind, this technique is for patching uh, stomp drywall texture. This is not for laying stomp drywall texture, right? When you lay, it's totally different. They roll the texture onto the ceiling and then stamp it. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of drywall mud onto a nice flat con uh, container, and then we're gonna stamp just what we need. So I'm using the lid to a storage box. It's got a little dimple on top. You can use like a, a paint tray, whatever, whatever you've got. Um, so I've mixed up my drywall texture. It's a little on the soupy side. And I'm gonna spread it out on this container. Okay, so then I take my brush. This is my, my stamp brush. I'm gonna put it in here and then I'm gonna test it in here. What I'm looking for is I wanna see like a little oval and then I don't wanna see a big mush around the oval. I wanna see like, like a flower petal, like little fingers going all the way around. If that's what I've got, I know I'm ready. I got the consistency right. So I just go in here, get a good amount of drywall texture on my brush. Looks something like that. Get it all around. And I'm just gonna top it to this cardboard and see how it turns out. Maybe the texture is wrong. So I can see it's a little thick in some spots. See, it came out a little thick here, but everywhere else came out okay. When we go, this is a knockdown style texture. When I knock that down, that's gonna turn into mush. But everything around here tells me that it's okay. So I think my consistency is right. I just need to be a little more careful that I don't put it on so thick. So another thing that you can do is you can put it on here, put it on your brush, and then you can stamp it on your cardboard, get some of that junk off. I can see I've got a big clump there. I can wipe some of that off. And then I can stick it to my ceiling there. So, and then you're gonna to wanna to look at your ceiling and look at the style that they use. Did they, did they go in perfect rows all the way down? Is it really tight patterns? Is it really spread out patterns? Um, on this one, the, there's no pattern. They just kind of like stamped all over the place, twisting it every which way all at once, which uh, kind of makes patching a little easier because I can just kind of go all the way around. So this brush is ready to go. I like the consistency. I like everything that's going on right now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the ceiling. Okay, when I go and I put my texture on the ceiling, I'm not just gonna go just on my patch. I'm kind of gonna go about half the distance all the way around so that my new texture is also laying on my patch also on the existing texture. That's gonna make it look continuous. Oh, that kid's coming out really good. Kind of changing directions as I go around, I need more of Okay, in a lot of cases, less is better. So uh, I'm gonna stick with that like that. So you can see I do have a couple, you could really see that I've got like a holes where there's no texture, but around here there's also places where there's no texture and it's kind of mixing with the texture that was before. So there is gonna give a little bit of texture in there. I kind of just changed the direction I went around. I didn't get too greedy, that's it, man. Um, I'm gonna let this dry and we're gonna come back and knock it down. But it wasn't that bad, right? I mean, that was really easy to apply. Okay, so um, this stamp brush is a knockdown texture, which means we have to drag a trowel over it when we're done. Now, the right way to do this is when it's still wet, um, you just let it dry just a tiny bit and then you just take a trowel and you baby breath drag that sucker across there and you'll get that nice knockdown look. The problem is if you apply just a tiny bit too much pressure, it flattens out and it's kind of ruined. All that work that you just did is kind of ruined. You, you have to scrap it off and you got to start over again. 
So the way I do it works for me and it's gonna work for a lot of you guys at home that are just new to this. What I do is I wait for it to mostly dry. So this is probably 60 to 70% dry. And then I'm gonna take my 12 inch knife and you're gonna need some kind of pan because every time you drag, you're gonna to have to wipe your blade because there's gonna be little crusties that get onto your blade and they'll drag across your mud and it'll mess it up on future passes. So what I do is I go out here to the edge and I test it out here on the edge to see if it's just about right. And if I drag it, what I don't wanna see is I don't wanna see completely go flat. That's too wet. And I also don't wanna uh, have to like put a ton of pressure on there to, to knock off that tip either, right? I just wanna apply like a medium amount of pressure and then um, it should be good. Also note, when I do this, since it is a little dry, you're gonna get kind of little fuzzies. Every time I pass, uh, pass the blade across my patch, it's gonna make it a little bit flatter each time. So don't just keep passing your blade, trying to get rid of those fuzzies. What you do is you just pass it by, get the look that you want, leave the fuzzies, and then come back later on when it's dry and you can just take your hand and wipe it like that or take a blade like this and wipe it, just gently wipe it and they fall right off with no effort whatsoever. Super easy. Right before you paint, just knock them off. Piece of cake. Okay, and this is gonna give you a nice clean look. So I'll come out here to the side. I'm gonna give it a little shot, see what I'm dealing with here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That just knocked off the tip. It leaves little fuzzies, but that's okay. We're gonna go for it. Okay, so we're just gonna apply a medium amount of pressure. This thing is covered in fuzzies. It's okay, it's okay, I promise, guys. They come right off later on. But it makes applying the, or doing the knockdown super easy. It's, it's the exact look I want. It's the exact look I want. It's perfect. I really like that. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. If I keep going over the top of it, it's going to make it flatter and flatter. Um, you can see I've got some spots that don't have much texture, but the ceiling is just like that too. Most of it has texture, but there are a couple holes here and there that are flat. That's okay. This thing, when I paint it, is money. That was really easy, guys. You guys can do this at home. This is a super intimidating uh, uh, texture style, but I promise you guys it's not that bad. Give it a shot. Let me know how it goes. Hit like, hit subscribe, tell your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.